Welcome back. I'm the Intense MD, a board certified ICU doctor here to give you an inside look into the intensive care unit. Today, I'm going to tell you why I think you should know about the intensive care unit. I made a very brief channel trailer a couple months ago talking about why I was motivated to start this channel. And a lot of people asked me, well, why do you think people should know about the ICU? Because not like, I don't know anyone who's been in the ICU. Why do I care? Well, most people don't expect to end up in the intensive care unit or have a family member end up in the intensive care unit. Many times it's a complete shock that somebody gets that sick. My goal is to talk about what we have in the intensive care unit to support patients, including the ventilator, the drips, the different devices we have as life support. So people know going in what to expect when somebody needs ICU level care because it's much different from the other parts of the hospital. And these are things that most people don't think about on a day-to-day -day basis. Many people don't like to think about what might happen when they're sick or what they would want when they're very sick or at the end of their life. But I think these conversations are very important to have and very important to think about ahead of time. And that's not to say that you need to talk about this time and time again with your family, but it's kind of like having a disaster plan. It's like having a fire drill. You don't have a fire drill every single day, but you do have them once in a while just so everybody knows the plan in case there's a fire. It's the same for talking about critical illness and end of life. If nobody knows what somebody wants when they're sick or what they would want at the end of their life, then a lot of people are scrambling at the last minute. They might be very unsure about what they want to do. Like I've said in prior videos, people trying to make big decisions when there's a lot of emotions involved, it's much more challenging. When you make these decisions completely separated from the situation, knowing what you know the ventilator entails or what could happen if you need CPR, then you're able to make a more informed decision if this should happen in the future. And another reason why I think it's important for families to talk about this or whoever you might have assigned to be your main decision maker for your medical decisions, if you are unable to make any, it takes a lot of guilt away from the person making the decision because that person knows that they're not actually making the decision. You've done it in the past. They're just being your spokesperson at this point. They come to me and they tell me, this person told me prior that they don't want any of these things. So they're not the ones who are saying yes or no. It's coming from the patient just through another channel. So I see a lot of guilt get eliminated when a patient has an advanced directive, a living will, or you know, some kind of discussion prior to getting critically ill or being at the end of their life because the family members don't feel like they're the ones who are making a decision on their behalf. They already know what they want. And I might be biased, but I think people should know about the ICU because we do a lot of interesting things there. We see a lot of interesting medical diagnoses. We have a lot of different technology to help a patient, procedures to help a patient, devices, so if anybody is interested in medical things, they might find this channel appealing too. But overall, I think the average person should know at least a little bit about the intensive care unit, just to know if anybody they know ends up in the ICU or if they ended up in the ICU, what to expect and what things may or may not happen. If you have any specific questions about the intensive care unit, please leave them below. I have a couple playlists about resuscitation as well as life support if you want to hear more about either of those topics. I will see you again on Tuesday with another video.